Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for confirming. I had some technical issues with my tablet or my uh, Cintiq. It wasn't uh, responding to uh, any control or alt or zooming in or zooming out, so I had to kind of reboot the whole machine. So how's everybody doing today? All good? Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's some new drivers or, or what it is. It just, it was working fine last night and then, uh, you know, this morning it's not working at all, which is favorite thing, right? When things are supposed to work and they just don't. Yeah, we'll start the stream in a, in a few minutes. Just want to uh, kind of settle. I have another weird issues on my PC, but I guess we can still we can still sculpt and play around with some stuff, maybe some key shot. All right, let's switch to my other scene. Oh, it's weird. I can't click on anything now. Yeah, I tried restarting my computer. I had some issues earlier with um, my other monitor too. So it could be a video card slash uh, Windows issue overall. But now I can't even click on uh, my OBS. So if this continues, we might have to reschedule the stream or something. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Just trying to troubleshoot what's going on with this machine today. Stand down computer, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I can't switch anything. Everything is uh, not active. Like, I can't click on anything besides a ZBrush. Um, but I can't click on change my screen to um, to another screen. This is weird. Yeah, guys, we might have to reschedule just because this is not, 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 act not working. I can't even kill the... Let's stop and start streaming. <laughs> this is not good. Um, yeah, let me let me try to restart one more time and then we'll, we'll start again. Okay, sorry guys.
Yeah, let me let me try that. Let me try installing the other drivers. That, that might that might solve it. Uh, I I up the, I I put the latest drivers. So maybe the latest drivers are bad. So uh, I'll be back soon. Sorry guys. So I'm back. How's it going, guys? Can you guys hear me? Is it uh, connected now? I had some issues. I had to just restart, like force restart. So I'm not sure if it cut off uh, or it didn't cut off. Cool. Glad. Uh, it looks like you guys can hear me in Twitch. Can you guys confirm if you guys can hear me in the other channels like uh, YouTube or uh, Facebook? Just want to make sure before we, uh, before we continue. Fun morning, right? Nothing's working, but we're trying to make this work. So I think we, I think we should be back now. Let me just double check, make sure everything's, uh, everything's good. Yeah, it looks like we're back in action. So just, I had to roll back driver. So sometimes uh, that's what it takes: restarting, uninstalling, restarting. Uh, you know, but it's all good. We're here now, so. Let's, let's continue our journey into this uh, making some creatures. But yeah, thanks for uh, joining the stream, guys. Really appreciate it. show you these uh, renders that I was doing last night let me just uh, start sharing my screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about no so if you want to clear a quick save you can go to I'll show you let me share my screen now now that everything's uh, back in action uh, you could just go to uh, quick save here and just uh, delete and that should, that should get rid of anything that's inside that folder. Uh, I do that often. Sometimes I'll crash and they'll save stuff there. So yeah, go go in there and just click on that. And they'll ask you, do you really want to do it? And yes, you really want to do it. <laughs> it's pretty easy, right? So yeah, let me show you what uh what uh, some renders I'm doing with this guy. I decided to go into Arnold instead of Keyshot or some other renders. Just kind of playing around with some, um, you know, playing around with the lighting, playing around with like the overall camera, how I want him to look. So there's a few things right away that I see that I need to uh, kind of improve on or that I want to change. I feel like his face got kind of wide and not long enough. So I think that might be because of the hood. So we'll probably be adjusting the hood today. Uh, to make his face look a little longer, maybe adjusting the beard a little lower too. Um. <laughs> yeah, everything, <laughs> exactly. Once you do it a hundred times, it, you remember it. Oh, thanks. But yeah, just kind of playing around with like the eyes. Like I want the eyes to really be prominent. Um, you know, some of the poly paint that I did makes it look cool, but I'm trying to look at this as if, like if it was just gray. Like if I was, if it was just, I'm going to 3D print it. So I want to see what that looks like. Uh, like what things I need to change or, or deepen like right now I need to give more volume to all the um, Kind of like all the sketch marks that I did for the face just to push it a little more Maybe make the noise a little nose a little pointier as well That's a few things that I want to tweak, but yeah, this is kind of where we're at uh, Pretty cool so far Move this over And bring up Make sure I don't miss your questions. 
but uh, I decided to kind of, I was only going to make the head at first, but then I decided to kind of start blocking out the body, you know, make him a little tall, a little menacing. Like, why don't I want to play around with making some proportions with making him a little more, um, like, slankier, like he's a lot taller, so, like, he could pick up, like, two or three kids at a time, just, like, maybe he's about, um, probably, like, eight, seven to nine feet tall, somewhere in that range. So I even spent some time uh, last night just doing a blocking out of body. So I'll show you guys that to kind of help me. So I have that body in there. Just It's just a block in, you know, just to kind of show me like, okay, these are kind of his general proportions. You know. Nothing fancy, just enough to kind of get it going in case I wanted to start blocking out the clothes, right? Maybe I can move that over so you guys can see. Or I'll just solo it. You know, just kind of nothing nothing fancy, just enough to kind of get me going for like overall proportions. But I see that I kind of want to make him thinner, so we'll, we'll probably start on that first. Turn on the body as well, somehow it turned off. But yeah, it's awesome when things break when you're about to go live on stream. <laughs> Usually it doesn't happen to me because I prepare like way earlier, but today, it's, ever since like an hour ago, I've been trying to fix some issues with the, my new monitor and, and these drivers, and it's just acting up. It just doesn't doesn't like it, but it's okay. We're we're on now, so thanks for joining. Hey, good morning, man, or good afternoon, Brazil. Where's everybody tuning in from right now? So at first I was thinking of just making him um, kind of just like a you know like a open open robe type of guy, but then I figured eh, he's cold, <laughs> you know Canada Portugal nice nice. Uh, so I figure I figure I'll, I'll give him a little bit of a robe type of deal. Um, but yeah, one thing I noticed on the on that concept is that I need to elongate his face. His face got a little bit um, I guess a little bit squash a little you know. So we need, we need to maybe we need to bring some of this stuff down a little bit, just to give him a little bit more more room, make his face look a little better. And we can also fix some of these things in the face. So let's maybe turn that off. Start fixing some of the sculpting parts that need to be adjusted. Salvador, oh nice, Korea, oh nice, thanks, thanks for joining guys. So one thing I noticed on that, and that, on that render is that um, his noise, his nose started looking a little, not not so many, see, it looks kind of round, and I wanted to make it really really pointy, so kind of gonna try to push that a little bit more. What do you guys think? What do you guys think overall of the concept, or the idea of this, this uh, Krampus character? look scary awesome that's what he's supposed to do he's supposed to look scary so it means we're doing something right so here's where we could start softening some of these guys like uh, some of these details are, are fine 
but uh, they, you know, they they come across a little scratchy, like they were just sketched in, which for the most part they were. So we're gonna try to kind of fix some of that. A lot of these guys were done in asymmetry, so I need to kind of remember to turn that off. So they feel more fleshy and less of a of a, just a cut. I think that's a, that's a big issue that I like see a lot of people have that they kind of don't go through the next step of kind of fading some of this stuff out and, and giving things proper volume. Yeah, so I'm gonna pose him. I'm thinking of giving him a basket he, he carries and maybe having a kid by the head, something like that, you know, like he's carrying the basket, one arm is up and then one is like holding, either dragging a kid because he already has a kid inside or, or just getting ready to take over and like, you know, steal a kid or something. Yes, yes, we'll definitely, so this is just the idea for the, for the, for the overall clothing, right? It happened in different pieces, so like if you can see, I just kind of sketch some stuff and then some stuff I even duplicated and just moved around. Kind of want to give him a hunchback. So, yeah, eventually I'm going to pose him probably later today or, or once I have a better base. And then from there, I have to sculpt some of the clothing or even even the some of the stuff that I'm seeing here. I wanted to make him look thinner and taller. So for him to look less bulky, I need to kind of maybe push some of his anatomy in and give him like a thinner waist, you know. But one of the things that I saw was like the face needs a little bit of more work. So we're going to probably work on that and move to cloth, that type of deal. Just to get this. Uh, It's looking a little more organic, a little more finished finished state. You also might need more more resolution, maybe. Let's see, we're at ten million. You might need just a little more, but we'll see. I'm not sure if I have layers on. So we'll find out. No, I don't have layers, so that's good. I could go higher. Perfect. So you see, now I'm just trying to get rid of all those lines and fade some of this stuff in. And then we'll go and enhance some of this stuff. Just so it reads more like skin and less like a sketch. Hey, how's it going, man? You guys excited for Christmas? You guys getting any uh, 3D printers for Christmas? Starting to feel a little more organic, less uh, let's look at some of the references we've been uh, playing around with. So a lot of the stuff that I've been looking at is like realistic stuff, you know, like uh, like some of these guys. So this is kind of the feeling I want to get. So some stuff is sharp, some stuff is soft. 
So kind of just playing around with that now, now that I got rid of all the like the line stuff, you know. Now it's just time to give that stuff volume and then see where it kind of falls. You know, even this, this is still harsh, so let's push it a little more. Kind of just soften some of these forms and transitions into each, to each other. Yeah, resin printers are awesome. I, I just um, recently I acquired uh, two of them. Uh, the most recent one is the Elegu Mars, or not Mars, uh, Saturn from Elegu, and I'm really liking that printer. So far, it's been it's been pretty good because it's been quiet, and that's one of the biggest issues that I have with some of these printers that they get really really loud. Like even the form two is it's pretty loud, but uh, this the Saturn is it's pretty quiet, and I, I'm really digging that part. Need like some of these marks, uh, we can soften them down, and then uh, re you know also change some of their volume. Sometimes some of this stuff gets a little messy once you start sketching too 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 much. So. some roundness and you gotta look at this stuff from all angles you know sometimes some things look good from one angle but not so much from another oh photon is yeah that's a that's a good one too yeah I'm experimenting with different resins right now I'm still having found one that I'm super happy with but I think soon I'll, I'll find I'll find one that's uh, should be good. But yeah, I've been playing around with uh, I played around with the um, Piopoli resin and then uh, Soraya Tech. Soraya Tech seems to be pretty good. And I'm also right now playing around with the Matter Hackers uh, multi spectrum color uh, resin, and that seems to be pretty good too. So hopefully soon I'll I'll have some stuff on my YouTube channel to show you guys. Let's uh, let's play around with some some of this no stuff. Let's see. Oh really? That's that's nice. Yeah, I played around with the Soraya Tech one. That's uh, the fast. That's usually the one that's been working pretty well. But there's also a sculpt that I've been playing around with, but I haven't gotten that successful prints out of that. It doesn't want to really stick to the to the base, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Just gotta find the right exposure settings, I think. Excuse me, guys. There we go. So that looks a lot better, I think. It's um, let's save that real quick. Oh, thanks, Mark. Thanks for joining. Yeah, the posable symmetry is a, is a little tricky. I, I tried it a few times, and it's supposed to work when you're sculpting, but I, I noticed that you're better off just kind of putting everything on the layer and then um, just kind of sculpt, you know, like posing without the posable symmetry. 
At least in my case, that, that's the way it's worked out. Maybe you can give that a try, one of these characters. Let's see. Yeah, I tend to pose in layers, so even if I'm if I'm using like transpose master, I'll I'll make sure to have a layer on so that I can always go back and if I need to turn something down or, or, or get rid of something, it's always in the layer. It seems to be like the best, I guess the best medium, because then you can always go back and fix some things. So, let's we'll see, one trick we'll do right now is kind of start playing around with some masking to kind of make some of this stuff more round, because some of this stuff needs a little more buildup. So let's see if uh, Peaks and Valleys works for us. Nope, doesn't work. Uh, let's see, cavity. Cavity seems to work most of the time, but we'll see. Looks like it doesn't really like this. Yeah, look interesting. It's not even really doing anything. Well, at least it didn't look like it was doing anything. Let's try again. Hmm. Wow, it's like really soft day. It's not uh, cooperating. I uh, still haven't figured out how to rotate the locators of the corner. It seems to have some weight issues. Uh, what, which, what are you talking about? Um, do you have any, any screen grabs? Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm trying to make this guy as wicked as he can be, you know, and as creepy as possible. For some reason, masking is not working right. But let's uh, let's try something else. Let's try AO. This one usually is a little slower. So let's see if that does anything uh, that we like. Usually, when you get this high, you should be able to get finer stuff with less pixelation. But uh, it looks like it doesn't want to. Hey, see, this one's taking way longer than uh, the other guys. Hopefully, it gives you good, good results at the end. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff, we're, we'll do a test render as well. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Because if you looked at this ter early test render I did, see how a lot of these lines, you could tell they're lines and they're, they don't, there's no volume behind them. Maybe some here, but some of this other stuff looks very cut. So we'll replace this, save this. And then uh, compare so you guys can see what the volumes are doing. Nice thing is that I just uh, I just have an FBX, so hopefully it'll just uh, work. It looks like the AO didn't do anything. Let's make sure we don't have the AO here on the renders. I've been playing. I've been playing around with this um, preview AO. See how that that seems to work much nicer. I don't know why those results are not not looking very. Uh, it's like everything is way too soft, but maybe let's reset some of these things. Yeah, see, that's what I'm used to. See when it when it's um. When it's more coarse, it usually goes in deeper and it, and it looks much nicer. So this is kind of what I was looking for, but for some reason, it's it doesn't want to give me that on the higher resolutions. Maybe it's a, it's a glitch, a bit a bit of a glitch, but we'll see. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, well, we can we can mess around with this. So let's let's play around with this. Maybe this this will work. So let's. Uh, See some of these things get get very flat, like they look round from the front, but from the side they're pretty flat. So we want to build some of these shapes up a little bit. Be a little since we're gonna print this guy, we want to be a little heavy-handed.
of course we'll, we'll add some pores and all that stuff too but right now we're just trying to give him a little more volume and then blend those volumes in as you notice I'm not doing this symmetrically so but also be careful sometimes if you have this brush too high everything becomes a little too bulky so like that one that's less strokes that's why you need to make the brush just a little bigger so that it doesn't look like it's just a lump now if it does become lumpy you can always kind of just hit it a little bit with uh, H polish you know you can always turn off the mask and you can see if something's becoming too Sometimes what I'll do too is I'll hit it with clay. Sometimes clay will do kind of what I want and fill in those gaps and then just hit it a little bit with them. See how clay is kind of filling a lot of those gaps of all those lumpy parts? And then go back with something sharp and then enhance those details. Kind of do a little smoothie in between. And then all this stuff that I'm doing now, I'll blend in again with smooth. Oh. So that we kind of get rid of that line look, you know? So you kind of hit it. So it's a lot of back and forth with the same technique. So I guess one thing we could do this time that we're going to export uh, to just to kind of break it up a little bit is add a little bit of noise, a little bit of surface noise. Nothing fancy, just, just enough to kind of, um, so it doesn't look so shiny. So let's turn on that hood again. That hood needed to be adjusted, so let's uh, make sure it got tweaked the way we wanted it. I want it to be kind of more pointy. As you guys can see, I kept this super low res. Like it's it's not it's like just block it in the cloth, you know. So what I did, I wanted to. I really I had the hood all the way out, covering the ears, but I feel that it lost like the wickedness of this guy. So one thing I started playing around with was. Um, Kind of making those ears kind of have, like he has like a little bit of something he could tie in the front and you can see the wicked ears so i feel like it, i feel like it needs it i don't know what do you guys think like without those ears it just doesn't look as evil so first let's save this and then we could try it again and see where that where that goes Kind of digging that music. Let me save that render. And let's try to reload. Well, let's export this SFPX. How to 
how to send transforms to a layer. Uh, like if you're doing this, there's a there's a layer here. You can just click that on. So once you click that on, that would just keep it on the. It'll make a whole new layer for you and keep it on there. Yeah, right. The ears add a lot. I feel like the ears added, added a whole bunch to the wickedness. So let's see. Let's export this guy out real quick. Um, so I was just exporting this to Maya. Let me just export it again. Let's see if we can just replace it and everything will just work. Let's give it a second. Yeah, I'll have to refine his beard, add a little bit more of fine details and to get to get that detail too, but we'll see. Exporting out. All right, let's import it into Maya real quick. First, let me let me group all the old stuff just in case it doesn't do it right. Because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just works. Still, is it still exporting? Still exporting. Let's give it a minute. So, any reason you use uh, XBO? What's what's uh, what's that? We're gonna wait for the app to respond. <laughs> <laughs> I know I misspell things all the time. Don't worry about it. Uh, you mean uh, OBJ or you mean uh, what? What do you mean? It should be fine. Let's just give it a minute. Seemed like it was done, but uh, it looks like it might be still writing. It's probably because we up up resolution on the face. Uh, FPX is more, it's it's nicer in, in when you bring it into like um, like Maya, because then everything comes separate, like all the subtools, and then I could assign a shader like for the eyes and for the tongue, so everything's separate. OBJ would just combine everything, which is not a bad thing if you like export like if you're doing um. Like a statue render, you don't care about the colors. But since I was kind of playing around with the adding like a... Let's wait for that. I was playing around with adding like, you know, red to the eyes. Kind of making it look more evil in the tongue. Um, I figured that OBJ or FBX is better for that. Good morning. So hopefully this one freezes in a bit when it's uh, done exporting. Um... Hopefully soon, <laughs> but that's kind of the reason it keeps everything separate. And for now, I, I kind of want everything separate, so it it's kind of works out better. But if this doesn't have freeze in the next like minute or two, then we'll just uh, switch back. But yeah, you guys have any other questions? Are you guys working on any uh, Krampus type stuff, or, or we'll just keep this on screen for now? But I like the way those red eyes are coming across in that tongue. Seems to be cool. Horns look pretty good. You know, that was just a kind of a first pass with generic detail. Seems all right. Good enough for this stuff. Maybe I'll break one of the horns off a little bit or something. Let's see. All right. It looks like if I export it or almost done. Let's see. This is how I exported, but I don't believe it. It's 
still exporting. Yeah. Almost done, guys. Sorry for the wait. I'm liking the teeth. Overall, everything is okay. Just like some things needed to be updated, like the nose for sure. It just felt like he didn't feel evil enough. Let's see. Come on. 70 million. Eh, maybe that's why it's taking a little bit. Yeah, it has to go through each sub tool to export so and then combine it into one file. I mean, that's why it's, it's taking a while, but but I would highly recommend that you guys always do renders and whatever render you guys prefer. Uh, because sometimes you'll notice that things that you think look good in, in ZBrush, there we go, took a while. When you take them into another application, sometimes they don't quite look as good as uh, we thought they did. So let's uh, import that into Maya. Let me just uh, import it in and come back to you guys. Hopefully everything just updates and I don't have to reassign shaders, but we'll find that in a minute. Guess while that's loading, that's um But overall the read is pretty good. One thing I did start playing around with last night, um, I was thinking about playing around with last night, was uh, the simulation stuff, you know? So I didn't, I just kind of sketched this stuff out real quick. Uh, but let's see. So this would be your collision object. I haven't played around with this too much, so. Right, and let's say these guys are. Our cloth, right? And we want kind of the shoulders to kind of stick. Yeah, yeah, I save every 10 minutes or so, so I, believe me, it's 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 not fun. So let's see what, what it gives us by default. So it gets way too puffy. Not doing that, right? So let's stop the sim, come on. Undo that. Oh, let me change this music, it got a little weird. It was doing fine. Just find it. All right. Um, so one thing I was uh, let's see, auto shrink. So we want it to be stiff, and then we want the. Uh, Self collisions, yes. Floor collision doesn't matter because it's never gonna get, get that to the floor. Inflate, that's where we gotta kind of go down. So let's try that again. So you kind of get some free wrinkles there. I'm not digging those so much. Let's do that real quick. So whatever is kind of like masked out, it's going to kind of stay put. From my understanding. So it's it's not terrible. You know what we're getting from this so maybe we could keep some of this stuff and then kind of
kind of smooth some of this stuff away just to get something that looks like a cloth. Hey, how's it going? Hi. You know, so now we have something that's a little more fit, form fitting, you know, that has some hints of wrinkles. We could always touch those up or change them around. So let's see this thing loaded into Maya. So let's uh, just do a quick render of this, see how it looks. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Let's do some test renders on this guy, you know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it updated right correctly. Let's give it a second to render at least part of the face. Oh, thanks. Happy to see you too, man. Thanks for joining. So let's see. Yeah, it didn't change it because uh, it looks like it uh, kept kept the old, st old stuff I'll check on the camera yeah it doesn't have the pointier nose or anything so let me just delete and reassign this stuff not a big deal let me just make sure I uh, label the shaders so they're easy to assign. All right, let's do this guy. Let me import the new one. Well, it might be a second, so let's let's uh, play around with some more stuff. Looks like I broke the poly paint. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like his face looks a lot longer now, so it should be fine. Like now, now that we move the the facial hair a bit. Oh, I guess I could make it a Christmas card. I didn't think about that. That that could be cool, right? Thanks, Alex. But yeah, let's see. Uh, so one thing I wanted to kind of block out was also the basket he has, right? He has to carry kids that are bad, so. So that's kind of where he tosses them. That well, sounds pretty evil, right? Sorry, this music is so... Uh... Let's change the station. The station got a little weird. Yeah, we're waiting for Maya to load, but we'll continue blocking this guy out.
So yeah, I'm just trying to make a strap, some some sort of strap that you know looks like it might look like it's attached to this guy. Looks like it loaded in Maya, so let's uh, assign some shaders to that and see what that's gonna do. Yeah, it definitely updated this time. I don't know why it didn't update correctly last time, but it happens and it's okay because we can fix it pretty quickly. shaders for the eyes and then we should be good to do a test render all right let's go back to our test render window and then we can see the changes that we made well while well that's going continue on this guy So one thing I wanted with this guy is to have really long fingers. Creepy, creepy long fingers. So I think what we'll do is um probably gonna polygroup these guys. So you can work on them individually. Maybe he only has three fingers. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see that render. All right. So now we got something that's decent we can compare with. So there we go. I think that's looking much more wicked. What do you guys think? See, so now we have a sharper nose. We probably need to change the nostrils a little bit, but now everything also doesn't feel, you see those lines kind of disappear? Now they feel more organic. And that's kind of what I was talking about. Like making those those feel like they're forms as opposed to just cuts. Um, you know, but you have to do these test renders to kind of see that because sometimes they look fine in, uh, when you're doing them on ZBrush, but then you start test rendering that. What do you guys think before and after? Much better? To work on that nose and the nostrils to make those feel more more sharp but uh, i think overall the improvements are making that sh sharp edge helped a lot so we'll continue with that yeah right it, it, it makes a difference even though it maybe it doesn't seem like such a huge deal i think it makes a big difference you know So now seeing some of that stuff, now I can see like, okay, we need to push the nostrils in here and the nostrils there. So let's uh, put symmetry on those guys. Maybe go a little lower to modify them. You know, so we have now this. There we go. That's kind of what I was talking about. So 
so you can make better judgment calls based on your based on everything you have let's turn off the poly paint because it's broken anyways nostril holes a little further back this is where we could start maybe looking at some of the reference to see what what uh, you know what are they doing because this is I'm just kind of going on the fly I'm not doing too much on it let's see anyone hey, Alex F1 how you doing? Turok, yeah, right the nose. Yeah, with the why do you like the one with the red tongue more? What do you think it is that's uh, let's change it also, let's see if we can change the eyes. It looks like the eyes we have multiple eyes in there. There we go, now we have those, those glassy looking eyes and the red tongue back. Of course, we'll do some, a lot of refinement to the clothes. We have, we have a lot of work to do still, but this is just kind of getting it all blocked out. All around the eyebrows. Yeah, we could go back to that too, you know, that, so we could add, add some of that stuff. Well, maybe one day they will. <laughs> but well, I like what's happening with all this stuff. The tongue seems okay, you know. You got to do these test renders to see what, what's really going to happen, you know. Also, profile look. The nose supposed to be more bulbous, you know. How's that reading from the top view or the bottom view? Yeah, I agree with you. Some of these, um, some of the brows need a little, little touch up, but. Maybe a little more volume on the muzzle too. I think maybe the cheekbones could be a little higher. Let's see if we can do some tweaks on that. That's not too bad. Let's continue on something else. Let's see, so we're doing some ropes for this stuff. Um, what else do we need? I wanted to work on the hands, so maybe work on the hands a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a creepy movie. Well, I think they did make a Krampus movie a few years back. It was kind of creepy, but... I'm not sure where that where that went to, like how how well it took off. Maybe it didn't. Maybe that's why they haven't made any more.
some more resolution on these hands, but it's okay. We're just blocking stuff in. solution in there. So one thing we can do here is kind of maybe cut cut away those other fingers and then just have one. One that's kind of like the master and then from there we just duplicate it. But we'll see. See how far we get with these guys. So his nail should start way down here. <laughs> Let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, so one thing I did start doing uh, recently, if you guys uh, have been around or or new to the to the stream, I did start uh, streaming on my own channel during the week. So if you guys want to join that, feel free to follow me on on YouTube. I mostly do YouTube. I was trying to Twitch, but Twitch was having too many issues, and now with so many issues, I decided to just kind of just do fa um, YouTube for now. So if you guys want to follow me, you guys you guys can and uh, check it out. I'll, I'll probably be streaming next week sometime. I'm trying to do more of a regular thing, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way. But it's a lot of either continuing these projects or it'll be other other projects that I'm working on that are you know either created through VR or, or whatever you know. So I guess this is a good time to kind of chop these hands off. So let's um, let's duplicate this guy. Forget that I don't have the other tool on. Right, so we can delete hidden. Then dynamish these guys, and then on this guy, do the same. Really hit it and re dynamish that. So that's one way of separating those guys out. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me let me give you guys a link because I, I I still since I just started I don't have a full name. Uh, like I guess you have to have certain subscribers to be able to have like your full name on, on the channel so hopefully soon with your help uh, you can make that happen yeah 
uh, try that. Hopefully, you guys can subscribe. Or it's also um, there's also my Instagram. If you guys like what I'm doing, feel free to follow me there. I'll be posting lots of like you know work in progress of stuff. Those are like my main ones. So. Yeah, let's continue with these hands. Uh, so we're gonna chop those fingers off since they look ugly. Yeah, that's fine. So let's uh, delete hidden and dynamite this stuff. And clean this one up a little bit. And then we duplicate this guy, chop that finger off, since it's kind of our main finger, and delete hidden, right, dynamite this guy, and now we can go ahead and kind of transpose them elsewhere. We just kind of want to see what those guys are looking like, you know, like are we doing good progress, are we not? Yeah, maybe that, that guy needs to be more. Just, we're just trying to get the impression we'll sculpt these guys better. Eventually, you know. There we go. Now, now we're seeing. Now it looks much better, right? Because he has some hands that are creepy, long fingers. They're not final, but this whole thing is not final, so it's, it's okay. And he's starting to feel kind of short to me, so I think we're gonna play around with making him a little taller. Just to make him feel a little. A little creepier, especially with those long claws, right? He has those long hands. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, we'll be covering a couple different things. You know, we'll be doing some some tips. We'll be doing some uh, some of this type of stuff. Some some streaming, like like we're doing here. So if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. It's all good. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, I feel like his hunchback needs to be just a little tall and bigger, you know? It always gives them a creepy feel, right? Like if somebody's hunchback, then like their hunch is like really big. Like well, what's going on there? Why is that growth happening? So why is there so much growth there? So maybe make them a little thinner. There you go. That makes them feel more menacing. What do you guys think? Yeah, his fingers being so long, I think, are, are the creepiest thing, right? Because it's like, you could get them to fit in places you usually can't. 
Yeah, yeah. So I'll be covering uh, a couple different things that I'm thinking about covering, kind of the different slicers and the, the new slicers that I'm, I'm used to preform, which uh, it's pretty easy to use. But I'm starting to use like um, Chi Two Box and Li Chi and all these different ones. I'm trying to kind of show you guys like what are the optimal ways and what are like the best results that I've gotten. Share that type of information with you guys and other how to prep your models if you guys have issues. Uh, just just a lot of those type of things or if you guys have specific questions feel free to send me a message through Instagram of things you guys would like me to cover because then that, that will help me kind of also focus to help you guys because that's the reason I'm doing this so yeah yeah cheat to box man I, I've been so disappointed with that application it's so slow but I think I found the alternative the lychee one it seems to be pretty good for me so far it's been fast and uh, and nice and it's free too so So I can switch into this red shader, but it's my favorite shader. So see, so now we're getting really close to his body. His body is like starting to get in the way. But we can start messing around with that and see it's also became became a lot uh, taller so we need to kind of take that into account kind of mess around with some of those proportions a little bit so at least if we run a simulation everything in the body could be simulated yeah it's much nicer right it's 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 um it's a much nicer slicer i guess I figure he would have a really cool belt, like something with like some really cool demon stuff. Or demonic or some kind of um, emblem, you know? there's some nice contrast between like all the cloth and then like the metal parts yeah print fails suck man I know believe me I've been uh, when I was testing a lot of these resins I uh, had a lot of fails um, but it's okay you know it happens so uh, just once you once you figure out the formula then it's all good for your printer part of the sucks is that all the printers are a little different <laughs> especially when you're dealing with uh, new type of printers you know exposures and all that type of stuff but Yeah, this is kind of what we're talking about. Uh, maybe a little shorter. Yeah, there we go. Let's smooth that out a little bit. So I'll have to get some references to like what these guys kind of um, are into or what their deal is, but um, you know, I'm just sketching something just for now, just to block something out.
We're just kind of giving him some accessories to kind of break everything up. Hey, how's it going, man? Good to see you. It's been a while, Alejandro. At first I was thinking of having him have really long sleeves, you know, like I was thinking of doing something where... Let me see, let me just get some of this top. You know, some crazy sleeves where like they, they look really cool on the, in the side view. But we'll see. But they felt kind of impractical, especially if he's grabbing kids or grabbing things. Like, it seems like it will get in the way and then he, things will get away from him. But there's something about those, something up cool. So I, I kind of want to play around with that idea too. And it's a good time to save right about now. <laughs> it's been a while. Let's see, um, no, so, so that means, uh, I'm not sure what are you doing for your displacement maps, but some of my settings that I use and I don't, I don't get seams. Are you using Maya or some, what are you using to, um, to render? Because that has something to do with it, you know, if you're exporting the wrong settings, you might uh, be subdividing or not subdividing, uh, smoothing the UVs and that might start giving you the seams. So some of the things that I do is uh, make sure you have, you know, I always export at 8K and I always down if I need to go down, but at most of the time 8K is good. Uh, so I export from whatever level I'm, I'm doing it from, right? So let's move this out. Most of the time my exports are from level 2 or 3, most likely level 2. I put the mid to zero. Uh, I make sure they're 32 bit three channels, adaptive. And that usually gives me everything I need. So, uh, and I also export EXR. So I would try those settings first. Uh, so, you know, if you have the time, do the sub pixel all the way high so you get the most accurate. It will take longer, but uh, it's definitely worth the wait. And I will definitely not turn UVs on, smooth UVs on because um, it would shift those things. Uh, but you know, give that a try. See what you guys think, but uh, this this usually worked for me, and I don't get any seams. So you know, maybe that's something we can cover on my channel, because then it's more Maya related, and we can kind of do from here to there. I suppose to here it's more ZBrush orientated. So you know, let me know. Green Reaperish, yeah, he's kind of getting there, right? But uh, exactly, I didn't want to go too much Green Reaper because then it's then it looks like the Green Reaper. But I think some something to do with the creepy, like the creepiness, could could help. But I definitely want him to have just really long skinny fingers. So we're, we're going to play around with that idea. And maybe play around with some other emblems and things like that. And we're going to make the, the close off tether up. Awesome, man. Good to see. Good to hear. Yeah, you got to take care of the kids, man. Super important. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to print this guy. So this is just like a something I started for the stream that it was only going to be a head. But I figure why not make him a full full character, you know. And we're kind of doing all this stuff in the stream. So I don't really do too much of this stuff in my regular time. Just that way you guys can see the whole progress. You know, and see like some of the things that I that are, you know, the whole, the whole kind of pipeline, you know. Um, from like sketching a quick body. You know, just something to have in there so we simulate the stuff. Nothing fancy since we're never going to really see it. But, you know, kind of going through like the steps of making a hand and blocking out the hand and look really ugly earlier. But now it's starting to look more like kind of what I want. Just to give people an idea of like, you know, what's how to make their characters. Hopefully this helps, helps you guys. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, like even this stuff, we're going to make a, we a weeded um, thing, to the, a basket. I'm not sure how it's going to print, but we'll find out. 
and then maybe has a kid inside or some kind of animal or something he collected you know because he just tosses in the back and eats them later or something Yeah, I would recommend having a tablet. I'm using a Cintiq uh, at the moment, but I would definitely recommend a, a tablet of any any form. You can use the small ones, you know, inexpensive ones. You don't have to go crazy fancy, but I would definitely recommend it. It would make it way easier. Here, I'm just trying to define a few things. So his hump is starting to get in the way of his ears. So let's push those, push that back a little bit. So I did want him to have multiple layers of clothes. So that's that's something that's um. That's something we're going to do too. We start incorporating some, some cool techniques for all that. But we're going to retopple all this stuff eventually. Just This is just the block in stage. So sometimes when things just don't want to work or cooperate, sometimes you could just count on your old friend uh, Sphere <laughs> or a cube. In this case, probably a cube. Since I want the other stuff to kind of be more clothy and, you know. Yeah, it'd be cool to print this guy out. I think we're, we're definitely going to push to get this guy done soon and then hopefully the next couple days and get him printed. And then this stuff on top, right? Like his ropes for his uh, cage thing. And, uh, let's, let's mirror this guy over. Want to make other stuff feel layered, so that's another thing too. Uh, no, you you don't since it's not voxelized. You, you're not really losing anything. Um, you know, you can see you can see from this stuff here. Even this is kind of high, so maybe go a little lower since it might be easier to modify. But yeah, you don't lose anything. You see, nothing's nothing's getting lost. It's just being shifted. Unless you do something crazy like like that, and then yeah, you're losing some stuff, but then you can always dynamesh it, get get more stuff back. So I'm making this stuff a little thick right now, uh, a little more thick for my that I would like it, but it's because it's gonna print. So I need to make sure that it's oh, switch brush. Make sure that whenever I'm gonna print this stuff, either it's gonna be touching or it's gonna be if it's gonna be loose, it's gonna be a separate piece that I attach on. Then if it's thick enough, it'll print fine, you know. So this could be like a scarf or some kind of, I don't know, some kind of thing that he has. Just more layers to make him look more complicated, you know. We could expand his hat one off too. Maybe those little tassels have like little skulls at the ends. I don't know. This We could go crazy on this stuff, you know. And then like a lot of this stuff could be... Um, 
So we can go a little higher. Then we can either expand it out manually or increase in the formations. You know, start giving it more detail. You know, maybe has some cool patterns on this stuff. Or also seams, right? Where eventually you have to do all the seam lines. Just to kind of start breaking this stuff apart. Start detailing why his ears are sticking out of there. So this should actually be a hole. Oh, so, what I, so instead of going here, there's a few things you can do, right? If you have this many subtools, which I have, I don't even know how many I have. Let me see. Uh, it should tell me somewhere. I don't remember how many, but I have too many, right? So I could go here and click on these. But what you could do that's way faster is just clicking Alt on top of the model you want. Like this right now, I want these horns. I could just click Alt and you'll see things change color. And that means I, I changed them. So you just have to click Alt on top of it. So as long as you click Alt, that, that switch, that's the best way. Also, you could just use up and down arrow and that also switches between tools. So let me uh, switch, do that. See, so here I'm just switching up and down between the tools and it's kind of giving me like the next tool down. But if you have hundreds or you have like, I don't know, probably like 30 like I have or something, and it's going to take a while so you want to just use the alt method and just kind of click on whatever you want to tweak right and then switch on the next tool do tweak whatever you need to do and that's like the fastest way to do it yeah so it's, it's super awesome uh, i would highly recommend just switching to alt uh, let's see uh, yeah yeah uh, sure what, what's up What's your question? I, you might notice that I have a few different eyes here because one thing I do, I'll place like a sphere, right? So even this, right? Like uh, these guys have poly paint. So let me turn that off. Let me turn the other ones off actually. These the ones are on, nope. I have these eyes, I was playing around. So I make, I first, I make a, a set of spheres, right? And then from there, I either push the cornea, cornea bulge out, the idea of kind of giving him like a goat eye but it, I think it, it just didn't work out for me. Like I just, it didn't, it didn't look right. Right, but I kept it in there. And now we're a little frozen, not a big deal. Uh, I was playing around with that idea, but it just, I don't know, something it didn't feel menacing enough, even though I, I thought it was going to, right? Um, so what I'll do is I'll have the different eyes and then I'll either poly paint them, right? So let's uh, switch to those guys. Now something as simple as that, right? And I'll just poly paint it to make it look uh, more kind of what I want. Or if not, I think in this case, I, I added, um, added a bit of a cornea bulge to make it look like it's looking in a specific direction. You know, I think I even have another set of eyes. And these guys are looking sideways. So that's kind of, I just kind of play around with different ones. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I worked on Doctor Strange. So I come from, my background is mostly uh, visual effects. Uh, so I've been working for the last like probably 20 years or so, 19, 20 years on, on movies, commercials, VR experiences, uh, all kinds of that type of work. And this is more like the stuff that I do for fun, kind of just concept 3D printing type of stuff. But yeah, I worked on Doctor Strange. Uh, 
let's see. Well, the main thing about the eye, all this stuff, right? All the, all the ice is you may need to look at reference. Collect some good reference of what you want. And then from there, go. Because if you're just kind of making this stuff up, you're always going to get it wrong and it's always going to look the same. So one thing I recommend is looking at eyeballs, like looking at the areas you need and also breaking it down. I think on this model, I don't have it, but we can do it now. Is um, pin another sphere. Right, where did it go? There you go. Uh, break it down to the elements, right? Like in this case, we don't have uh, because we're never going to get that close. But I guess in this in this 3D view, we are kind of close. So one thing I will kind of block out is a uh, caranco. Make sure you have room for the caranco. And if you don't know what these things are, um, it's probably a good time to kind of go in and kind of. Um, See which one is is it this one? Nope. This guy. Hold on. That's why. Uh, the corunco is something that's like in between. It's like it's holding. It's in the corner of your eyes. Uh, having that blocked in is it's good to give you a kind of sense of like what's what's in there. In this case, we're just gonna break the way we usually do it. So making sure you have all those elements to kind of help you with the corners of the eyes, you know? See, like, that just adds a little more depth to it and a separation between the eyeballs and, and everything that's going on there. But we could definitely do one maybe where we start an eye from scratch. We're, we're already over our time. But if you follow me on my on my channel, maybe we'll just do, like, an eye, eye pro, one from scratch where we just make a whole eyelid and eye. Um, so if that's something you're interested, we could try that out. But, you know, I'd say look at all the elements and then also look at the sharp edges versus soft edges, you know, like the shelf of the eye, making sure that you have that, that that would really make a big difference. Even here, we need to kind of enhance it a little bit more, you know, now that we have more resolution. Like go in here and kind of give it a little bit of a, just a little bit of a kiss so that you feel like there's a shelf area. But in this case, I have this asymmetrical, so I need to kind of go back and do it asymmetrically. See how it got it got really soft, and also like the let's turn that off. Like the lids penetrating there, so we need to make sure we go in there with a dance standard or something similar. Kind of touch that up. Obviously, that's way too much, so we need to do that at a lower. Let's do it damp standard. So just making those those differences, like see how it looks soft, and now it's now it's much better. But we we could go through that uh, kind of lesson, or, or next time we stream here. So I think with that we're we're kind of done for um, for today, guys. But appreciate you guys joining, and this is kind of where we left off. You know, we're still not finished, but uh, we definitely further than where we were uh, last week. Or two weeks ago. But yeah, feel free to follow me uh, on Instagram or my YouTube channel. We'll start doing more streams there and other other fun things. So I'll post those links real quick. Hopefully you guys uh, can check some of that stuff out. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate you guys uh, joining. Yeah, take care, guys. Thank you. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. See you later, man. See you, Alejandro. And if you guys have any questions in between now and the next stream, Feel free to just uh, send me a message on Instagram and we can uh, also cover some topics, you know, if that helps. See you guys. Thanks.
Merry Christmas, man. You too. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. See you guys.